Hi guys, I hope you're ready for a mega Sephora haul. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be sharing with you all the makeup and skincare that I picked up from Sephora during the sale. If you guys don't know, the Sephora savings event is going on right now. It's going on through the 24th and it's open right now for everyone. So you can either save 10, 15 or 20% off depending on the tier that you are at Sephora. I have some stuff from my wish list if you watch that video. And I also have some newer items that dropped a little bit sooner. I decided to try out. I am so excited to get into it. And one of the reasons that I was able to have such a shopping spree is because Magic Links gave me a gift card to shop. I did not know when I made my banana Sephora wishlist video that I was going to have this. Like they hadn't reached out, none of that had happened. So I was actually able to make that wishlist come true a little bit. So thank you to them. Uh, I threw in my own money though. Don't get me wrong. I was planning and prepping for this sale. I was excited to spend some money and also save a little bit of money. So if you're gonna shop the sale, the links down below are affiliate links. So thank you for shopping. But as always with all my videos, with anything I do, like no pressure, you know? Do what is best for you and what you wanna do for sure. Last, before we get into this cutie little look, I did pick up quite a few like body care, hygiene, fragrance things. So I'm gonna do a separate haul over on that video that's not sponsored. I just was able to stretch my budget even more. And I thought I would just put that all over there so if you're interested in that go subscribe to my fragrance channel and check that out i'm gonna get that video up for sure before the sales over but probably it will go up tomorrow if i'm actually trying not to overload my plate so anyway buckle in it's a long video let's get into the haul and the try on all right, I'm gonna show you all the skincare I got first because I use a lot of that to prep my skin for what it looks like right now. I feel like this is the most boring thing to start off with, but you already knew I was gonna get the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I love this thing, okay? I've loved this for a really long time. This is one of those raved about products like back before I was even filming videos, which feels like forever ago. And so I tried it then, I did enjoy it at that time. And then I feel like I've rediscovered my love for this in the last couple of years. It is just such a great beauty mist if you're looking for something really refreshing really rejuvenating that smells like a spa it has like a minty kind of smell and feel so it's very refreshing kind of cooling I love using this in the morning with my skincare specifically because it kind of like wakes me up a little bit it just is such a beautiful moment I don't want to rave on and on because I feel like if you watch my videos and you know I've talked about this quite a bit but I've just been consistently using this and consistently needing to repurchase this also because I actually go through it I actually use it all the time and Sam my husband really loves it as well he's like where's that mist <laughs> I'm like okay let me I'm getting it in the sale, okay? I'm getting it. Calm down, it's coming. Next, this is a serum, and I decided to pick this up because I actually got a sample of this from Youth to the People, and I liked it so much that I actually bought the full size. I feel like brands like give out decent sample sizes. People will buy it if they get to try it first, and that's how I ended up with this. So this is the Triple Peptide Cactus Oasis Serum. It's supposed to plump, firm, and hydrate, and what this is, it's like a very, very liquidy product. Like, it's only slightly viscous. If you've ever tried the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum, I believe is what it's called, that really thin, watery serum. It's very similar in texture to that, which I love that serum, and I love this just as much. Like, this works just as well. And basically, I just want this for, like, lightweight hydration. So I feel like it's really a drink of water for my skin. It's really moisturizing. It feels really good, but it's not oily. It's not greasy. It's not heavy, and I think especially for summer. So I'm excited for this. I don't expect this to last long, though. That's the one thing. <laughs> I just think I'm gonna go through this. So I don't know how much I'll repurchase this, because this is not cheap for sure but I wanted to give the full bottle the chance and really try it out. I couldn't resist this new product from Fenty. This is the Thick and Smooth Eye Cream which I'm realizing right now I don't know if I ordered an eye cream of the eye cream I know I love which is like just a repurchase, so I might have to figure that out, what's up with that? But I wanted to try this new one from Fenty Skin. I've not tried anything from the Fenty Skin line before, and I feel like, I don't know if this is the same packaging as the lip mask or balm that came out, but this packaging is so cute, you guys, okay. So this is a peptide eye cream. It says it's a rich, balmy texture, intensely hydrates, improves skin texture around the eyes, and I will say it's definitely a little bit heavier, a little sticky, but not bad, like nothing I don't enjoy. But nice and moisturizing. I'm excited to see how makeup goes on over this today. Again, for all my skincare, I feel like I'm always looking for just hydration. Like I just love the look of hydrated, plump skin. Like that's what I want. <laughs> so I want that for the under eye too. So I'm excited to keep testing it out. I love, like this packaging is so cute and aesthetic. I like absolutely love it. It took a while. I thought at first it was one of those like little pump ones, you know, but like a baby version, but you twist the bottom actually and it comes up. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But the belief I eye balm um that is like my favorite moisturizing eye balm that i've purchased multiple times and that's the one i was talking about like hmm, i kind of want to have that just in case this doesn't work out or if i like this at night more and i like 
that more in the day. I just know that one works under makeup really well. It works just all the time and Sam also likes it. And I feel like we've both been just on our skincare game a little bit better, which is so great, but we are running through products more too. So not that I need anything else, but I'm kind of like, I think I should get that. Last for skincare, this is kind of a hybrid product. I did end up ordering another of the Super Goop Glow Screen. I get the shade Sunrise and this is like a tinted glowy sunscreen. And I'm glad I got this also because I was doing a video and a lot of you guys let me know that if you mix things with your sunscreen, it's actually not supposed to be, it's not good. You wanna like put the sunscreen on, let that dry down, then put stuff on top of it so you don't get any holes and you get the best coverage and all that. So thank you all for your tips, but this is it all built in, okay? So I don't even have to worry about adding a tinted glowy product to a regular sunscreen. This is everything all in one. It is super glowy, I will say that, but I think it just gives the most beautiful vacation glow. I've really been embracing that a lot lately. And so I definitely wanted to repurchase this. I don't love this with makeup on top of it. I really use this just alone. I have like a whole glowy skin routine. So if you wanna check that out, I it's my last video, I believe. So you could sub this in for like the glowy base of sunscreen. And then all the other steps are like what I would do if I were to wear this out more. But anyway, I wanted to get this on a sale since I haven't found anything that's quite the same as this at this point. I wanted to save some money on it. Oh my gosh, skincare is done. Let's talk about primers and like actually start doing my face. I ended up picking up two primers. One was like on my list because I've got a lot of recommendations from you guys. This is from In Beauty Project. It's the Face Glaze Skin Barrier Veil. You can use it as a primer or just like a skincare type product. And this is what I'm gonna wear today. So let's just put it on. If you don't know, I love the First Aid Beauty Coconut Smoothing Primer. I think it is so great. It's kind of this lotion-y primer that has a little bit of glow, nothing too much. It looks great alone. It looks great under makeup and it doesn't make me more oily, but still, you know, moisturized, plump, glowy, what I love. A lot of you guys said this is similar to that, so I wanted to give it a go. I love the packaging. I actually, you know, I'm, it's so cool to see In Beauty Project grow so much. Like they're in Sephora now. I remember they sent me like one of their lip oils back in the day when like they only had the lip oil, I think. <laughs> like that was really the one product they had. So I'm excited to try some actual skincare slash makeup slash primer. Feels really nice. I always have to be careful when I'm putting on primer because I always like skip places and pieces because <laughs> I'm talking and then I'll like be talking with a big gloop glob of something on my nose or unblended, it's so annoying. It feels really good, nice and moisturizing. I would say it's a little bit richer, like in the moisturizing feel to me than the Coconut Smoothie Primer, but not necessarily in a bad way. I'm just interested to see how it'll hold up with makeup on it. It has a nice glow, but not too much. Really pretty, and I love the way my skin feels right now. It feels really smooth and soft. Fingers crossed it looks good under products as I continue to test it, but really excited for this. The other primer though that I ended up picking up is the Secure the Sweat from One Size. This is a mattifying primer, so opposite end of the spectrum here, because I am oily and we're getting into summer. This is supposed to like control sweat, keep your makeup on, like it's like a workhorse, you know? So I wanted to give this a try. We'll probably do like a full day wear test or something. That's what I'm thinking. Let me know if you want to see that. I'm trying to embrace a little bit more of the matte life because in some ways it really can um, flatter my skin a lot more. If I'm trying to take pictures or if I know I'm going to have a long day, you know, some of the most glowy products that maybe I still love in my collection just don't hold up. So I'm excited to give this a try and let you guys know what I think. Maybe we'll do a short also. I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm so excited. That just came out too, so I wanted to give it a try. I didn't pick up a foundation, so I'm gonna use the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is the foundation I recommended in my Sephora recommendation video, so I thought I would put it on. I hope the shade match is okay. It's been difficult over here shade matching, seriously, but I have a lot of bronzer options, so we can always just bronze it up. With the rest of the products that I got, I'm definitely doing a nice, I would say with everything, this is gonna turn out to be a pretty easy, easy everyday look, maybe something a little like everyday glam. And then I might pop a little pop of color. We'll see, that's my goal. I'm kind of like, do you guys remember when Kylie Jenner <laughs> wore that pop of pink on her inner corner? I don't know if that was like a moment for you, but I just remember, I can like remember what house I lived in when I saw that photo. And I don't know if this is actually accurate or just my brain making stuff up, but I feel like she was like coming out of a plane almost or like going into a plane. But she had this like inner matte hot pink corner 
inner corner. And I'm kind of feeling inspired by doing something pretty neutral, but then having that kind of be the pop. So that is the foundation on one side of my face, you guys. Oh, just easy. You can still see my skin. I still have imperfections, but it's lightweight. It's going on really nice too over that primer. And then I just do one pump, which is like half a pump of normal foundation for each side. So a full pump basically for my full face. It just looks so good. And I feel like the color match isn't too bad. This kind of dries down just a little bit darker, which is working out for me right now. I'm gonna give you a little close up of my skin. So this is what it's looking like. Definitely glowy. I feel like that primer is giving me a lot of glow, but I'm pretty happy with how everything's sitting on top, especially on my nose, considering that's like my toughest area. And I just used a brush instead of like even my fingers or a sponge. I'm pretty dang happy. So we're definitely gonna need powder though, for sure because <laughs> I want a little less texture, you know, and a little lasting power, which I normally do powder, but it's for sure gonna need to happen. So concealers, I did pick up some concealers. I have two here. One is from Valentino. It's the Very Valentino Concealer. I got the shade Light Rosa One. This I think is gonna be a little too light for me. And I have tried it one time because this came separate from everything else. This came on its own, uh, but that is the shade there. It's a little, like I said, light. We'll see which one's the better color match. The other one I got is the Bright Light Sheer Concealer from Glowish. And I feel like, I don't know if I've heard good things. I just felt compelled. This one also is in the lightest shade. And because I've had experience with the tinted like moisturizer that they have, I just got the lightest shade because I feel like in general, the line runs dark. So I'll probably go with this one. I think it'll be a better match for me right now. I don't know what I'm going to do about the Valentino, but let's just put a dot. This is supposed to blur and brighten, and then you can like build it up for more coverage. I don't know if this is gonna be the best one for like blemishes, but we're gonna try it. We'll see, won't we? It's definitely sheer. And then for this, I think I'm just gonna use my finger. I feel like that's always, I get the best outcome with a finger whenever I'm doing concealer. So I'll give it the best chance I can first try. Hmm, very like oily. I don't know if it's how it's mixing with the eye cream, but Mm. Did I not hear good things about this? I don't know. This so far, I don't like. I know that's quick. I know that's quick. I'll give it a shot, but maybe this is for like a no makeup makeup day and you at least get some coverage. I don't know. But so many products from this line, like the, even that tinted product I was talking about, I'm like making that work for sure, but I'm like having to find a way to make it work. And this is just, I don't know. That ruined my time right now, honestly. Like, I'm gonna try to save this, but I don't know, the feeling of that made me feel like everything is feeling like that now. It almost feels like an oil jelly concealer. Like, that's what I'm getting from it with a lot of glow and not much, it's very sheer, very, very sheer. I honestly can't imagine building it up though because I don't think I could handle that. Okay, I'm gonna set a little powder. I still have another cream or a couple cream products I wanna use, but I just know it's gonna be a disaster if I don't at least do a little bit. This is also a Huda Beauty product, but this is the powder and I really love this. I've had this for a very long time. And it's my go-to for like setting it down and mattifying. I'm really just hitting the center of my face. It's questionable, <laughs> it's very questionable. I'm gonna take some of the Valentino actually though, and I'm just gonna cover a little bit more on this blemish. I almost felt like as I was adding that, that it was taking away the coverage that I had on underneath it. Like somehow I've been left with less coverage than before I started putting the concealer on. Whereas the Valentino gives at least some coverage, but it's just a little light, but very skin-like. I'm excited to keep trying that. All right, I'm trying to fix stuff around the nose from that concealer, oh my gosh, okay. We're not spiraling anymore, we're moving on past that. We're moving on to bronzers. One thing I really wanted to pick up was from Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick, and I picked the shade Light. I've been wanting to try this, so that's what it looks like. I wanna see, let's blend it and see. Cause look at that blend though. That's what we're talking about. That is, ugh, I just feel like Makeup by Mario stuff, if you want that kind of like soft glam, like minimal, but definitely makeup, like you got your makeup done by makeup artist. I just think that's the products that he makes. If that's the look you're going for, they tend to be really good. I got two powder bronzers though. The Kosas one, <laughs> Did I play myself? I had the old version of this bronzer. This is like the new reformulated one. It's called the Sun Show Bronzer. It's now in yellow packaging. I do think it's reformulated, I wanna say. And I think there's more color. So this is the shade Waves, which is the lightest color. I just was sucked in because this is a glowy bronzer, a baked glowy bronzer, which is like my dream, what I want. That is summer to me, that is easy to me. So I just, I really hope this works for me. I'm smelling it now so I know when it changes. That's the one thing with Kosas products, they definitely 
you know, they change smell. They're little transformers and you gotta be careful with them. So I will keep you guys updated. We're gonna try that one today for sure. I really hope it works and that I didn't just buy the same bronzer. I had like a love-hate relationship with the last one. Like I loved it some days, other days I didn't. And it was mostly because of the coloring, not the actual product itself. Like the finish was great. I liked the formula. I hope this one doesn't get as much hard pan though too. Anyway, we'll see in a second. The other bronzer, the Pat McGrath one. I definitely needed to try this one out, you guys. So this is what it looks like. I got the lightest shade in this as well. This is matte. This is kind of like just a traditional bronzer, but from Pat McGrath, you know? Uh, I'm surprised she hasn't come out with bronzers sooner, to be honest. So that's the Pat McGrath one. This is the Kosa's. This is the Makeup of Mario all blended out. So I think we're gonna do just like a very bronzed up look. So let's start off with the cream. Let's start with that. I'm gonna sculpt here. I kind of want to do a little up here. I want to like line my jaw. And then I'll add a little bit from my brush maybe, but I got to be careful about my nose. It's like on the precipice of disaster. I use like a big kind of kabuki brush to blend out and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to stipple as opposed to really like buff it out and see how that goes. At least that's my goal. It might have been better to apply if you're having trouble with stick products like this instead of putting it straight on your face instead to go onto the brush first and apply from the brush instead of blending out on your face you're kind of blending out as you apply it just a little tip but you can't beat the convenience of just applying it straight to your face with the neck I'm really buffing I'm really, buffing. I'm really getting it into my receding hairline I really like the color I think it looks really natural but still there like still definitely bronze but not too orangey or anything, at least on my skin tone currently. And I feel like it blended out fairly easy. Maybe not the most, but I also, you know, we're trying a lot of products. So a very good first impression on this. There's also a brush on the end of this, but I don't really feel, I don't know, it's a very dense. I don't know, I don't really like the feel of that brush. I honestly think next I really want to just use the Kosas. I don't know if we'll use the Pat McGrath bronzer today. We might just have to do like a separate video. You know what I mean? Like a second <laughs> video trying more new makeup because there's a lot of stuff that's like not gonna get used, I feel like, because I did double up on a few things, but I really am excited for this Kosas bronzer. Oh, it definitely has color. That's it applied, that's without it. I'm very happy to say that the shine is not too much. I know sometimes, you know, a shimmery bronzer can kind of be scary, but I promise that they're so pretty. If they're done right, obviously, and I feel like I like the amount of shine in here. And then I'm gonna use this to hit my nose a little bit. Just tapping though. We're really trying not to disturb the product. Okay, loving the bronze, like loving this look so far. I can't say for certain at this point if this is like better, but I wanna say I like it better. I do, I think the color at least is better, but I'm also like t more tan than I've been in the past couple of years to be honest, so I don't know. The sun's doing its thing on me. <laughs> do you ever say things you wish you didn't? That's how I felt about that last thing. I'm like, I don't know if I wanna say the sun's doing its thing to me. Like, what does that mean? Is it burning me? It's kind of weirdly sexual, I don't really know and I just keep going, keep talking about it. Okay, let's do blush, let's do blush. For blush, we have a few different options. I was so excited, I really wanna try this Say uh, Do Blush. I feel like I've seen Amanda Z talk about this or use this. I feel like a lot of the things I see are people's like Instagram stories now that I'm on Instagram and I feel like I've seen her use this there. But this is the color Spicy and I'm excited to try it. I haven't really had the best track record with say products but i keep trying look at that that would look so good right now like that bronzy sunburned look i kind of love that the other cream blush i picked up is from rose ink this is the product you guys suggested okay you said lauren stop trying all the other rose ink products because i have not gotten on with any of those really you guys are like the blushes are where it's at oh this is gonna look good too this is the shade delphine Ooh, okay let's swatch that oh yeah that's pretty Okay, maybe we'll use Delphine, I don't know. And then the other products that I got, which I might do a short with these, maybe I'll do that tomorrow, try to get that up. But they're the new blushes from Giorgio Armani. And so I just wanted to get these since they had come out. I feel like there's like a long wait, like for when they were like shown to when they actually released. But I got two shades, this is number 50. And this one's actually a little luminous. I'm gonna put it on my wrist. <laughs> So that is shade 50. And then the other one I got, very trendy of me. I was like, we need something other than neutrals. Lauren, <laughs> try something different. So I went with 52. I figured, you know, since the hot pink blush is the 
the blush of the moment, the blush of the year. We could try that out. So I don't know if I just swatched them. No, I actually did okay. So that's the number 52, number 50. They seem like they're gonna be really nice, light, like easy to use blushes that just, you know, kind of blend themselves on. I'm really excited. I might top over the luminous one on top of the rose ink blush. I think that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna save the say for another day. So let's try this rose ink out. Oh, I think this color is going to look really good too with the look so far. And that pop I'm going to do, which I'm not doing a pop of pink. I'm going to do a pop of neon yellow, you guys. Wow. Okay. That was just one little dip in and I feel like a lot went on. So that's nice, but not too much. But I feel like in general, this color couldn't really be too much on me. You know, there's only so far it can go. I'm going to add some to my nose again, being delicate, a little to the forehead. This one reminds me a little bit in formula to like, I don't know, I was gonna say the Tower 28, but the Tower 28 are a little bit thicker in a different way. This almost is like as thick as those, but this is more of like powdery almost. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, I'm really embracing. I look like I'm about to go on vacation. Let's go on vacation together. I like the blush so far. I, I kind of get what you guys are talking about. I want to keep using it and everything, but so far first impressions, like, yeah, very pretty. I can imagine other colors looking really beautiful as well. Super easy cream blush to use. I think I'm already going to powder a little bit more. Sometimes I do that. I kind of just like layer the powder as we go. I'm going to do my brows as well. Pray for me that my brows turn out okay, because I feel like everything else, even with the concealer setback is turning out good. Okay, ooh, I think it's working out. I think they look pretty good, yes. All right, I controlled myself on the highlighter front. I only got one, <laughs> I only got one. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> anyway, this is the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. What a classic, right? I've never tried this. I've never tried this. I think this came out in like a limited edition holiday like face set at one point and then they made it permanent finally because everyone was like loving it. I'm gonna go in with like a duo fiber brush because I think this one's pretty blinding which I love like I'm excited for but I will try to maybe not get a metallic stripe so let's see how it goes mm. oh there we go okay it's it's going <laughs> took a second oh yeah this is giving more of like metallic sheen which I'm glad I picked the brush I did so I could go on a little more sheer with it I'm sure if you used a very dense brush or even one of those small little highlighting brush, you could get something pretty targeted, but it's probably gonna look a little uh, like metallic since the base on this highlighter is really the thing that is coming through. Well, is it? No, the base isn't there. It's just the pigment. That's so, huh? I don't know. I had this idea it was gonna be like kind of powdery, but it's really only there in the light and then not, hmm. I'm excited to keep trying this. I do feel like it's picking up a little bit on the texture on my cheeks, which it is a highlighter. There's going to be a level, but maybe a little more than other ones I have, but I love a glow. I really do. Let's intensify it on the nose. We're getting that spot, that spotted nose today. I had to go get my eye primer and oh yeah, there is major shine coming off this cheek. This one, not as much. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. <laughs> It's pretty intense, so um, hmm. I'm gonna take my blush brush and just kind of stamp it out. <laughs> See if I can get it to mesh a little bit more. I just don't want it to be too, I don't mind if it's intense necessarily, I just don't want it to be delineated, differentiated, you know, too badly. <laughs> I want it to blend, I want it to be seamless if I can do it. All right, let's do eyes. I'm gonna prime and I'm gonna show you all the options before I zoom in thinking I'm always thinking over here also don't mind my long nails every one of my nails is getting so long I'm really trying not to chew them I'm trying to like grow them healthy and strong but then these two fingers they got split so now they're short short guys <laughs> otherwise they're all really long I don't know what to do or how to shape them I think I'm gonna actually go and see what someone can do with them all right eyeshadows you guys I did end up getting one palette and this was more just like let's explore it like this is just a fun one since I had some money you know I thought let's give some Dominique Cosmetics some love I have loved so many of the products I have tried but I feel like it's just not raved about so this is the uh what is this called? Essential palette. This is called the Essential palette and this is neutral. I figured some of you other neutral lovers out there probably saw this and were wondering how it is. So I thought we could try it. I haven't swatched it or anything yet. The formula feels kind of like um, an older formula to me anyway. Like I'm thinking something almost like Violet Voss in a way. 
very pretty. I don't know, just more substantial, I guess. There are a few what look like like flaky types of shades or slightly more sheer shades, but they're pressed a little bit harder and they don't come off necessarily super flaky. So I don't know. Mm, I'm excited to try it though. Like this isn't like a bad thing. I just, let's see what we could do. So I might use that today to create something, but I did get some single shadows as well. So I got two from the Sephora collection. If you guys don't know, Sephora brand stuff is 30% off during sale. And I think that might be for is that for everyone? I think that might be. And I feel like I sleep on the Sephora brand, you know? So I was like, let's check out the single shadows. I love a single shadow, like a single potted shadow is so, mm, just, I love it. These are pretty tiny though. They've definitely, I feel like, gotten smaller over the years. This is the shade Twinkle Twinkle. And then I also got one in a million. So let's see. One in a million is called a glitter, but there is no like real glitter in here. It's just kind of duochromatic, has like a pinky base with that blue kind of purpley shift, but still pretty subtle. And then Twinkle Twinkle is also a glitter finish. And this is just kind of a champagne-y type shade. I feel like there's a little more sparkle. It's still fine, you know, coming off of this one, but I am excited to try them out, see how they are. It was kind of hard online to decide what the heck was going on. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. And last, I did actually end up picking up that Make It Forever single shadow. I was just intrigued to see how it was. So this is like a system where you get the case and then the single shadow separate since Make It Forever is like an artistry brand. If you wanted, you could put this straight in like a magnetic palette. So this is the color. Hmm. You knew it, you knew it. Nice and taupey, really beautiful. Oh yeah, it's like a satin finish. Please, please, okay. This is D562. <laughs> it feels so official when they're named like that. And this is it inside the compact. It just went in there nice. And I wanted to get the compact because again, like I said, I like a single shadow. I love that I could just bring this with me. Uh, but if I wanted, I could also put it in a magnetic palette. So those are all the shades. Ooh, the Makeup Forever one, like honestly, is the most exciting to me out of everything like singularly. But I am excited to try out the Dominique Cosmetics. And you guys have seen me put on a taupey shadow. Plus I genuinely, Genuinely and truly, <laughs> I'm trying to get it together over here, guys. It's a slow process, loving yourself out of a, you know, burnout rut and all of that stuff, but I'm trying to work my way through it. <laughs> anyway, all that to say, my plan is to do a Topi video. Like it's on the docket, like I'm starting to get the list together. <laughs> it's coming. Anyway, let's do something with this. I'm gonna run some of the matte shades in my crease. Let's bring it in though. Get you close. This is what my foundation, everything's looking like. A little textured, not too bad though. Let's go in. Do I want to do something rosy? I think that'd be kind of nice. And for some reason, I'm really excited to put this shade on. It was so metallic. I'm first going to go in with Compassion and then I'm going to use that on the outer corner. And I'm just building up a little bit of a transition, I guess, color. Blending out really easily, really nice. I was excited to try this. Like I said, I feel like Dominique Cosmetics stuff just doesn't get really the hype. And I love the cream blushes, you guys know. The cream blushes from Dominique Cosmetics are so good. I love the natural rose color so much. And I figured, you know, for the people who love neutrals, this was probably exciting. I know for everyone else, it's probably like, what the? And I get that too. I thought I would test it out and just see if it's kind of worth it if you're looking for an everyday palette. Okay, I feel like that was really simple and easy to blend out. For the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with the pink matte shade and I'm just gonna slightly build up in that outer part of my eye. I feel like these mattes have been super easy to blend and they're pigmented without being like overly pigmented. Like you have some time and I also feel like they're a drier formula, but not dusty in the pan necessarily. Like, you know, they're just a little more hard pressed, I guess, but I don't have any issues picking up stuff on my brush. I like where that's at. I'm just gonna blend out one last time, just really buff it lightly, like putting light pressure on my brush and really just getting those edges. All right, I'm gonna go in with Pretty Kind, that like pinky champagne. This is like a regular metallic kind of color. And I don't know why I was just drawn to it. I normally don't put something this light on my lid anymore. I usually go with something more mid-tone for me, but I kind of want to keep it light and bright. And it's going on really nice. The metallic, it's a little bit, um, again, on the drier side. So it's not like a foiled wet metallic look, but it isn't overly sparkly. It just has really nice shine to it. I honestly feel like this formula is just nice. Like it's just standard. I don't feel like there's anything necessarily like innovative going on. And I haven't tried all the shades, obviously, but um, so far I do like the look. Like it's just being solid, you know? <laughs> like 
just doing what it's supposed to do looking good easy no issues although i did have some fallout from that so i'm just kind of trying to tap it out all right i really love the way it looks i am gonna pop the inner corner for the pop of inner corner i'm going with like a neon chartreusey green and this is from colfi let me show you it i showed it in my recommendations video but i'm just gonna pop that only on the inner corner and just see what I can build up. These lock in place, they're really pretty. And I just felt like I want to incorporate something kind of electric and a little bit neon. I love this kind of inner corner color, especially paired with some neutrals. I feel like it really just pops, but also still keeps that kind of neutral look. And I've never used this in a targeted way. I just put it all over the lid before and it looked great. And it looks really great on the inner corner so far as well. It looks so good. All right, let's finish up the eyes though. I am gonna go in with a liner. I picked up another one of the classic eye powder pencils from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Shimmering Brown. This is actually a repurchase because I can't find mine. I have no idea where it went. And this is specifically a powder formula, which I really like. I find it easy to blend. It's not like ooey gooey as an eye eyeliner and so I feel like I just get a lot of control and I also get like a softness from it that I really like so I'm just gonna place a little bit of that on my lower lash line and I usually go in and like blend out like that on my lower lash line but I find with this formula I can get kind of that blown look like that kind of blended out look easier and almost like on its own it's definitely not like that trendy formula that's out but it's so good. I kind of want to do a wing, but I'm like nervous. I've never done a wing like this. I'm just using a brush to kind of finesse it. I don't know, maybe not my finest moment, but I did get a mascara. I saw so many ads for this. So many people did sponsorship, so I want to try it. The Hella Thick Mascara from Fenty. This is new. This is what it looks like. Let's go. It's like a con, con conic, conic. It's a cone shape. Okay. All right, so here's a finessed one coat. It's basically like one coat, but I did take some time on it. And I do think it's giving some thickness, but not like heavy. I'm a little nervous to keep adding because I like my lashes to be thick at the base, but kind of thin out at the top and not be like thick all the way through. But I like the level of definition it's given so far. All right, other eye done, I'm gonna do just a little bit on the lower lash line in the outer corner. I don't wanna overdo it, I'm like scared. It went on easy though and it's like a dry formula. So if you like a drier formula, this starts out the tube that way. We need a little bit of cookie on the upper brow bone. I'm gonna go tiny on this, y'all. I don't want a metallic brow bone. I just want a little bit of lift and a little bit of light. Oh yeah, that's nice. I also think it'd look good on the inner corner, like on top of the Colfi shadow. Oh yeah, just to pop the brightness. Since it's like a duochrome, I feel like, you know, anything you layer is just gonna get transformed. I like that. We're almost done, kind of. I have some lip products here and then that's everything. That's the haul, my gosh. I got my lip liner. I already told you I was gonna get that lip liner in the caffeine one, Anywhere Caffeine. I love Wherever Walnut, that is like my go-to. But everyone else seems to like Anywhere Caffeine. So we're gonna see how it looks on me, I'm excited. Hopefully it's not too dark, that's my thing, but we can always blend it out. I love this formula of pencil though, okay. I'm gonna like dull it a little. <laughs> I know that seems counterintuitive, but when they're that pointy, sometimes I just, I don't like the lip line I get. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit darker than I normally go, but I think it's nice and pretty. Definitely gives me some definition. I just fill in the corners a little. The two lip products that I picked up, one is another Sephora brand item. These are their new matte like lip balms. I got the shade Tan and that's what it looks like. That's gonna look really good with that lip liner. So maybe I'll use that, but then I had to. The viral, vi wait, maybe all my stuff is in here. Maybe there's some stuff because I thought I got that other really trendy lip oil too, but this one is the Dior Glow lip oil, which this leaves like a pink stain. I think I got the shade pink, just classic. The doe foot I think is like the giveaway for what this color is really going to look like. That's it there. It's clear and then it's going to kind of like form a pink kind of tint. I don't think this is the moment today. I know. I don't know if I really want my lips to turn pink with the rest of this look. 
Hmm, let's try the, the Sephora Balm. I thought this might be a good dupe for like the NARS ones. Texture wise, they're not the same. Hmm, it's nice, it's okay. It's kind of, it tastes like a crayon, like just from the get go. I don't really love it. We're gonna go with the Dior. I'm not saying I don't love it entirely, just not for the look. I don't know, it kinda, it made my lips feel like cakey and they didn't look how I wanted them to, so. Dior lip oil it is. This is the one everyone loves. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Feels nice too. Probably gonna look really weird with the liner, so. Forgive me on that. Let's get this wrapped up though. I'm gonna powder a little bit more. This is last looks, last looks, let's go. I'm gonna pump up the blush by doing that. I'm gonna add a powder though. I'm gonna add a little bit of that Armani. This is what I do, I'll go in with a cream first and then toward the end of my look, I add a powder blush. And this one has like almost a little bit of its own glow going on. It's like slightly golden. And I feel like that's definitely coming out as opposed to like straight up color. But this is the look, you guys, I really like it so far. Like as a finished product, I love, love this look. Like I'm gonna definitely do this again. <laughs> All right, I know you've been here a long time, but let's do a little bit of a recap, just a little. Products I'm pretty dang happy with, but wanna keep trying again, first impression, so we really gotta keep trying them to really know. I am excited for the Kosas. I'm glad I picked it up at this point. I am glad. I think it looks really good. It's definitely my vibe, and we're going into spring, summer, all that. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, we already knew the Colfi shadow was so good, but I'm really happy I used this today. Really happy I did that pop. The Dior lip oil, so far, like, I get the hype. I know it's expensive, it's bougie, a lot of it is gonna be branding, but on my lips, it's like a thicker lip oil, kind of feels like a nice gloss, and it has a little bit of a minty feel. It just feels nice, like I get why people like it. It's cute and works. Fendi mascara so far, good, not blown away, but also didn't dislike. It really needs to hold up. Let's see how that works, but it's okay so far. The In Beauty Project Face Glaze. I'm excited to keep testing this. I am a little bit worried that this is gonna be too oily for me. Like I think the magic of that First Aid Beauty one is that it does not let my oils come through, but gives me the glow and this almost feels like the more dry skin version of that product like it gives a similar look but i don't know if it's going to give me the long-term priming effects but we'll see i'm still you know going to test it out but that's kind of my first impression i still think it felt beautiful though and i think it looks beautiful but it definitely turned that nars foundation a lot more glowy on me super excited about the makeup by mario stick bronzer i'll keep you guys updated cookie is intense okay cookie is intense i like it i like the color so far Definitely gives you a glow, but I think I'm realizing like this is an older formula, like this has been around for a while, and I do find a difference between this and some of my favorites, like the Pat McGrath highlighter and even the new Charlotte Tilbury ones. Those ones are a little less metallic, like you can build them up and get shine, but this one starts off pretty shiny. And although that base is transparent, it gives you a pretty opaque glow when it glows. And so I wanna keep testing this and trying it. I don't dislike it, but it's definitely different than a lot of the formulas that I've been testing and that I feel like I really, really love and jive with right now. I'm really excited for this blush from Rose Ink. I kinda get the hype, like it's a very nice cream blush formula. I also feel like I wanna see what the other blushes look like because I feel like this was nice and subtle. So if you like a blushy look, but you don't want it to be too intense, I don't know, I feel like that's what I was getting with this. It, was very nice really like it oh oh no no I really this no this is a no um we'll try it I'm gonna try it again but I really just don't like the texture of this product and I also I'm realizing like I do want coverage from the concealer like a light concealer sounds beautiful in theory but like what I needed to do I want something that's like medium coverage blends out really seamlessly doesn't go patchy looks like skin but again, I need some coverage. Like that's why I'm using it or I just won't use one. So that I don't recommend. Anywhere Caffeine's really pretty. I do like it. Can't wait to test it with like other lip products, really get a feel for the color and like how it'll work best for me. I'm so glad it doesn't seem like too dark and I, I can actually wear it. I love those pencils though. If you need a lip liner, I'm telling you, they are so good. I think last for things I'm testing, the Dominique Cosmetics palette so far does seem like a staple. Like I think if you're in the market for a neutral palette, it might be one to swatch around, see if you like the formula of. It's just gonna be pretty tried and true. I like the look I got. I don't feel like it's something that I'm like, 
obsessed with like it's so different so revolutionary i also can see myself using this like a ton like one of those types of products where it's like yeah it just works like it works it gives you the looks you want you know all that so i'm excited to keep trying it but yeah those are some of my first impressions on my sephora haul tons of stuff here i'm excited to keep using this stuff into spring and summer and get my thoughts i will come back with an update video probably in a month so if you're not subscribed subscribe also make sure to go check out my fragrance channel if you're looking for a body care haul a hygiene haul a little bit of fragrance in there. I will be doing that over there. And if you're into those types of products, I think you will like that channel. But yeah, this video is long enough. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear what you guys got at the Sephora sale if you shop. The sale is still gonna be going on till the 24th. So if there's anything that you think is just amazing that you really think I should pick up or try, let me know down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.